You must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. Are you good? I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. So, uh, Drax, you feeling sucky because Quill took... Chew, chew. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo! Flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't! What is wrong with her? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. Hey, Rocket, you got a minute? I bought something in nowhere to remove that Novacore lock. <laughs> the, the guy said it was a lock disabler. It's not? Piece of junk disabler is what it is. Oh. How do I have to say this again? No shopping for tech without Rocket! Fine. Fine, fine, I'll make you dumb stuff. Just tell me what you want. All that effort, and nothing shiny to show for it. Shame. Anybody in there? Drax? Are you okay? Open up! Peter Quill. Are you gonna join us in the cockpit? 
You had a lot of dog report items for Cosmo. Perhaps I will. I'll write them down. Drax. Apologies. I will surrender the lavatory. In a few ticks. Wait. Was that my toothbrush? What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxi is gone, what's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? An asteroid, huh? <laughs> oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the guard. Uh, Gamora! I was only looking... Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I, uh, actually... never got a chance to say thank you. For the doll. Oh. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Uh, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really... hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well... that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> Yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the Resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mind had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's... surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was gonna be a knife or something. Like I said... Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. 
Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula... After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but... I guess I'd do it for her. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. Hope somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those church idiots. It ain't cowardice, it's common sense. Wait, are you siding with Green Team on this? <laughs> Yeah, well, a little bit is all we'd achieve before getting brain scrubbed and tied up to faith reactors. Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corral was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid. Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki, and she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. <sighs> what was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corral I remember. I tried to convince Yondu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying. 
so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. I know the wires look tasty, but they're not for eating, all right? Ask Drax for a ration pack if you're hungry. Can't wait to get out of here. Quill and I don't need to make up. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away from the church. Oh, hey, Rocket, Groot, sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? You never told me that. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Tivin scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. 
He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a DAS cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it still active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, group, for, you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> But I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am good. He says he knows, and he's grateful. Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where Gru picked up that one. I feel like I've seen this before. Did Gru pick it up in nowhere? Watch it, Pe Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. warrior. I well, am, I am the, the warrior. warrior. And heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with a slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise. Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah, 
Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am good. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am brute. are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> Butthole content. Blockers are forcing it open somehow. Feel free to panic. Your dying cries will be recorded as proof of your demise. Where's Drax the Destroyer? I know he's revived. Never heard of him. Jeez, how much money did she offer these guys? Doesn't matter. She wasted her money. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just make sure you're shooting while you do it. Please try to flee. Have... Hit them hard and give them reward. There's nothing on that garbage scow where it's something. Rude, find us a channel with less butthole content. The blockers are forcing it open somehow. Feel free to panic. Your dying cries will be recorded as eyes. Feels kinda good to have bounty hunters after us. Means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Not sure how much we get out of taking down crap that crap hole and his legion of crap. Feel free 
to show off, Will. They insulted my baby. Just make sure you're shooting while you do it. Jeez, how much money did she offer these guys? Too much, because they ain't gonna survive this. These guys have really bad timing. Another problem for our pile of problems. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? Where's Stratus the Destroyer? My bounties are five of you. Never heard of him. These ships ain't dying fast enough. There's an art to this, Rocket. We're artists. Bounty hunters after us. Only one can make a name for ourselves, right? right? One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters, but my cruiser will crush you. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. That's it? And that's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> <gasps> Nothing. It's... I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Lady Skull Shoot us the worst flock in timing! Is she here? Feel that, Guardians? Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. It's starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on our PR. Ah! Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Ah, yeah, I don't think the scrap sacks care if the galaxy's under siege. Ah! He's <laughs> really pissing me off. Moron. Protect your points. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Just kill them already! There's an arc to this! Ha! Quill just tried to kill Splane to the deadliest woman in the galaxy! You okay in there, Cap? Stay still and I'll shoot you. We gotta take better care of the Milano. He's chewing us up, Quill. That was a bad hit. Wonder how much these creeps are getting paid for killing us. Let me look up the contract real quick. Oh, 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 oh man! Ugh. Taking heat. Lost. That hurt. How much these creeps are getting paid for killing us? My ship! Oh. I am Glory! Warrior of <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut! I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it!
Yeah. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Thank, Thank you. you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We are aware of the current threat, but can no, no resources toward fighting it. We should tell them about the promise. Due, Due to, to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? Thank you for attempting to be an upstanding citizen. As all prisons are being evacuated, you may self-sequester wherever you wish. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all, all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread, spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind is collecting consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. I won't. At least abomination sounds scary. If you've nothing more to add, now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture, culture is more than a location. And yet after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system knowing it wasn't safe. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. Officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. 
and you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The, the risk, risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We, we cannot, cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If, if the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It... it is not magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. We, we recognize, recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional, emotional state is not our primary concern. We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A, a complete, complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Ah, screw it. If Nova Corps doesn't want to help, then we're not paying their darn fine. Cancel payment. I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknar from back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, all right? Peter, we've got movement. I'm good. They're taking off. Chomp, Quill. I know. Matrix promises becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Guys, 
It's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they right. find that, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff? And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Noble Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. <laughs>